Mural Tutorial or How to Use Mural. Hello and welcome to our channel, WebWiz. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use Mural. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So the first thing that you need to do is open your browser and call it go to mural.co. And if you haven't signed up for Mural yet, you can check the video description below for a special discount link. But before that, if you don't know Mural, it is an online visual collaboration platform that allows teams to work together in real time, regardless of their location, in which it provides a digital workspace for brainstorming, ideation, and collaboration through visual elements like sticky notes, diagrams, drawings, and various templates. In some of the key feature it provides including visual collaboration, templates and tools, real-time collaboration, integration and compatibility, and remote work facilitation. And this platform is often used by teams in design, product development, marketing, and any other industries. And now, to use this platform, they also offer a variety of pricing plan that you can avail. By clicking the pricing option, it will show you a variety of plan that they offer such as the free plan, team plus, business, and enterprise plan. And below here, it will show you the corresponding prices and the list of benefits it included on each plan. And since they offer the free plan, I'm going to choose this free plan. And after clicking on it, you will be directed on this page. And it's from here to sign up, all you need to do is to enter your first name, last name, and your email address. And after signing in, the next thing that you need to do is to create or enter your workspace by simply entering here the name of your workspace and after that below you could also invite your team members by entering their email address in here then proceed by clicking save and continue button below and after that the next thing that you need to do is to choose your team or what kind of work are you working we have here consulting design innovation and many more and after selecting your team the next thing that you need to do is to choose your role then click continue button to proceed and you will be directed on this page. In which from here, you can start creating your design on this blank page of Mural. But if you want to go to the dashboard of Mural, just click this logo or icon right here. Then you will be directed on this dashboard of Mural. And as you can see below here, under the home, it will show you your recently opened Murals. And on the left side panel, it will show you other options that you can start navigating. Starting from this plus neural button right here, by simply clicking on it, it will enable you to create your own or new mural. And aside from that, you could also navigate the home page in which it will serve as the personalized dashboard that allows you, as a user, to quickly access the recent work to learn new skills or find templates most relevant for your projects. While under the Recents option, from here it will help you as a user to access your recently opened murals providing an easy access to content that you've been working on. And aside from that, you could also navigate the start, in which from here, it will show you your favorite murals and templates in a convenient way. And from here, you can create a personalized list of your favorites for quick and easy access. Well, under this workspace, from here, it will show you all of your workspace, and by clicking on any of this workspace, it will show you an option to invite the workspace view workspaces and manage your workspace. And aside from that, below here you could also navigate the murals in which it refers to the visual collaboration and problem solving space provided by this platform, in which it allows teams to work together, brainstorm, and solve problems visually. And aside from that, you could also navigate here the templates. By clicking on it, it will show you a variety of pre-built templates that users can utilize as a starting points for their murals, in which these templates are designed to help users get started quickly, engage teams in idea generation, and enhance understanding of the present context. Well, by clicking this rooms option, it is a way of organizing murals for different projects. And by clicking this plus new room, it will help you to create your own room by simply filling out all of this required information, in which each room can contain several folders and murals, and there are three types of rooms, open, private, and confidential. And if you also want to upgrade your workspace, you could click this upgrade workspace below here, and on this pop-up window, you can select the plan that you prefer. 
And now, if you want to start creating your new mural, just click this button right here. And it will show you a pop-up window. And just click create open mural. And from here, all you need to do is to select your workspace. And after selecting your workspace, just click create mural button below here. Then after that, you will be directed on this page. And on the pop-up window, it will show you a variety of templates that you can choose to start creating your new mural. We have here service blueprint, rapid mind mapping, assumptions, matrix, and many more. And on the left side panel, you could also use some other cases such as strategize, plan, research, brainstorm, and many more. But if you also want to start from scratch, you can simply close this pop-up window by simply clicking this X. And now to start customizing your mural, you can use on the left side panel some of the editing tools including the sticky note, text, shapes and connectors, icons, images, and many more. So let's say you want to add a sticky note. And from here you can even change the size of sticky note and by simply clicking the specific color or dragging it to your mural canva, the sticky note will automatically add to your mural. And from there you can even enter the text. Customize the size of this sticky note and even the text that you want to input. Then aside from that, you could also navigate the text option if you want to add heading, paragraph, and even comment on your mural. Well, by shapes and connectors, from here, you could simply choose the connectors or shape that you want to add to your mural, which is also very helpful in creating a graph, specifically a flowchart. Well, under the icons right here, you can search and drag icons to communicate visually by dragging any icons to your Canva. And lastly, you could also navigate these images, wherein you can import an image from your computer files, or you can select the some available images that is offered for free on this platform. While under Mortals, you could also navigate mind maps, tables, and areas, and even draw something on your murals, in which you could also select a specific kind of pen, color, and the thickness of pen that you prefer. And aside from that, if you're now done drawing, you could also access content library and even import files from your computer, or even from your Google Drive, Dropbox, or even OneDrive. While on the top panel, you could also navigate here the title of your mural, in which you could also simply customize this by simply entering your preferred title. And from here, you could also utilize Redo, Undo, download icons, also to search or find elements on your mural, or even take an action. Well, you could also utilize timer by simply entering here the number of minutes that you want and also select your alarm sound that you prefer. And aside from that, you could also conduct a voting on your mural using this option. And aside from that, you could also go private by clicking this private mode in order to make other content hidden from other people in which you will be the only one that will see your own content. Then you could also utilize this laser pointer that is also very helpful when you're trying to present something. While below this custom toolbar, you can enable a specific tool such as template, sticky notes, or other tools that will show only the features that your members, guests, or visitors need. And aside from that, you could also navigate outline to organize this mural. While under these members, it will show you all of the people that is also included on this mural. And if you also want to share this mural, you can do so by simply clicking the share button on the top panel. And aside from those options below here, you could also zoom in or zoom out this mural by simply clicking this option below here. And if you are now done customizing your mural, you can just simply go back to your dashboard and this mural will automatically be saved under your recent. So that is just basically how you can use Mural. Thank you.